Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. What, what separates Charleston White from, from every other blogger, from every other podcast, is that Charleston White has something to stand on, right? When you look past the internet, when you look past the things that I say on the internet, uh, you can't beat what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't beat it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, so, that's, that's, so that's what's happening, uh, you know, in the, in the social media world with Charleston White. Wow. But I love, is it personally from a woman's perspective or from my perspective because not all women think like me, but um, I love the fact of honesty, the way how you just speak anything that's on the top of your mind because there's so many people out there who high side, who just say what they think you want to hear just yeah. to please the masses, but you don't care about pleasing anybody. You say what you believe, but then also you do research behind it. Yeah. And that's what I love about what you do. Uh, from, from 2009 to, to 2012, uh, I would spend anywhere from 12 to 18 hours a day in a college library. So you're talking about for three years straight. I'm not in prison. I wasn't in no jail cell, and I was and I was catching the bus to do this. So uh, I was acquiring knowledge, right? So I know statistics. Uh, so I don't. I wasn't reading Google. I was in a library pulling books off the shelf. Uh, when when I got on the internet and and started doing research, I didn't Google a title. I didn't put a title in Google and try to get the information. Mm -hmm. I went into library library databases and, and what i mean by that you read what what scholars what experts wrote mm -hmm. uh from around the world so i went into scholarly databases and got information from scholars uh, uh the world's best scholars read their minds read their books uh and, and so then i started working in the community and uh, i started at the top right uh government uh, courts, uh, juvenile uh, legislation. Then I went to the bottom. I mean, to the bottomless pit, all the way in the ghetto. Mm. And then worked my way back up <laughs> to government, right? Uh, because up here, I was talking down to those people because I wasn't down there with them. Mm -hmm. I ain't no, you know, I, I didn't see no dirty children. I was traveling around the country uh, advocating for kids in the juvenile system. Uh, I didn't know that mothers took their children to have neighborhood fights. Huh? I would, that's in the hood. They took their kids to have yeah. neighborhood fights. Yeah. You must not be from the hood. You can't be, and you, and you can't is, be on Facebook is, if you ain't seen yeah, that. Yeah, you can't be. This is common practice in the black community. That's how they get down. This is common practice in the black community. Children seeing their mothers fight. Children seeing their, their daddies jump on their mothers. I know uh, that, this is yeah. This is... Children seeing their their mothers and their sisters fight because they don't slept with the same man, and, mm -hmm. and and their brother is really their cousin. So this is normal behavior. But when you working in legislation, when you teaching classes at the college, university, when you traveling around the country, advocating for this, you don't see this. So you can't really speak on it. So when you do see it, you speak down on it. So when I came down from up here and started working from the classy lady in the projects uh, from Stop Six, I got a different perspective. And, and, and what I realized is uh, an ant and a, and a giraffe, they don't have the same view. Yeah. A giraffe will never see what an ant sees. Mm -hmm. Wow. But what I want to know is where did the, um, the drive to go to the library for three years, like you said, to search for that knowledge. Where did that come from? Why did you do that? I was running from the streets. Uh, um, I had just had my daughter and, uh, and, and I wanted to give my children something different. And so I was pursuing a college degree. I was going to study law school. I was a pre-law student at Texas Wesleyan University. So I just completed uh, you know, two years at the community college. And so uh, I wanted to be a juvenile worker. I wanted to be a juvenile probation officer. Uh, I don't have any felony convictions. I had just had my second child, my daughter. So uh, I wanted to give them something different. So uh, leaving the streets, the uh, only thing I knew I was good at was academics. Mm -hmm. So, shit, that's what I went to. 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.